I am the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Previously, I had access to the diary, my diary with his, because his takes precedence over mine, because mm -hmm. he's a boss. You know? Now, it becomes very difficult for me even now to work on my diary, because I don't know what the President has. Mm -hmm. So it has really even uh, made my work very complicated, because I, I am just there, not knowing what the President has. So I am not able to arrange my events, you know, going forward. But what I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll talk to the president at the right time, uh, and uh, I'll see what is the problem. Okay. I, I don't think the president, in my view, will be petty to ask anybody to do me from the diary. I think it's just some handlers around the presidency uh, who want just to create mischief, yeah. to portray me as somebody who is disrespe disrespectful, and to portray me as somebody who is absconding in duty. I am a alcoholic. And everybody knows, including the president, I'm available for duty. I'm available to assist the president 24-7. Right. But work needs to be made, you know, uh, straight so that we are able to work properly. So that I align my diary with his and I'm able to assist him uh, uh, as it is supposed to be. All right. Who is the custodian of that diary? Uh, there is a page with everybody there. There's head of public service. There's the president himself. There is a controller of state houses, a deputy chief of staff. There was me, there was my chief of staff, there was my private secretary. There are security people, the people really who handle the president and myself were in that page. And you know, we what, even what, share. What, what do you mean with the page? No, they are the ones who handle the president's issues, his movement, you know, hospitality people, security people, on that page. Yeah. So that once his activities are known, everybody aligns automatically, and there has been a lot of efficiency because you have the information so that you are able to prepare. If you are going by road, you know. But when you don't have that information, then it becomes extremely difficult okay. for, for, so for, for my office to align with the president's office. Help Kenyans understand. So this diary, is it a physical book? Is no, it no, it's a, a WhatsApp group. It's a WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group. It's a, every day, you know, things now are good with this so digital space. It's a WhatsApp group, and it's updated as you go on. And the president updates it sometimes himself, the controller does, and we all keep on aligning. So you know, yeah. sometimes he'll have a program, he'll move it from this day to that day. I get into my diary and change mine and align with his. You understand? So your team is no longer in that? Hotel. No, I, myself, I was, uh, I, was, uh, I, was, I, was, I was removed. My private secretary was removed. My uh, chief of staff was removed. So we have no access uh, to the who, president's diary. Who removed you? Uh, the private secretary of the president. Who's yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, he's called Mayo. I, I, I will show you. It's, I was looking for my phone. I wanted to show you. He removed me. So once we are not there, then, then we, we don't know what's going on. So let nobody, let no Kenyan, and let those uh, yeah. people in state house who are trying to say that I don't attend me meetings, let them return me in the page so that I know what the president is doing, where he's going, what time, so that I'm able to align and give him support, as I've always been doing. But I cannot do it when I don't have access to that information. Does the president know you're no longer in the WhatsApp group? I don't know. I've not asked him. You haven't? No. And it's been how long? You said a week? I think it's about a week. About a week. About a week. And you haven't spoken to him about it? No, I've not spoken to him about it. Uh, to, 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 to be truthful, initially I thought it's a little bit petty. Okay. But now that the matter has been raised, and I have seen Kenyans have been asking, yeah. and I have seen some mischievous bloggers in State House trying to insinuate that I'm absconding duty, I have decided to give this information to the people of Kenya in the spirit of the truthful man, a man who speaks the truth so that the people of Kenya know exactly why I'm not in those functions. Mm. I think I owe Kenyans the truth. Because, again, as I told you, Sam, I'm employed by the people of Kenya. They need to know why is the deputy president, whom they elected, not alongside the president in the function. I think we owe that information to the people of Kenya. And do you know why you would be removed? I don't know. But I have told you, there are mischievous people around the president. Why are they mischievous against you, deputy president? Well, I don't know. How do you explain mischief? People have many motives. People have many motives. They are mischievous people trying to create a wedge between me and the president. And it's been going on for a while. So, so and, and I take it in stride myself, because yeah. I'm also an elder, and uh, I'm also an officer, you know, who is well trained. I was trained in paramilitary. I have tremendous capacity for perseverance and endurance. Mm -hmm. I'm able to take a lot of flack 
this quiet and taking it in good tiding because uh, I am quite mature in my leadership, in my approach to life. And many, many petty things, I have ignored them because I, I sometimes I don't want to become petty. So there are many characters around there. You know, uh, you remember, uh, Sam, <coughs> when the king was here mm -hmm. in the state house, yep. the king, uh, king Charles, Charles the III, third. The third. Yep. I think I was in, uh, I was, the president had sent me, I think, to Berlin or to Brussels. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly to which country. And so when the king was in state house, yep. I was missing. Brutal as in my eye, this is a guy who has 